Hi everybody, this is children's book nonfiction author Kirsten Larson, and today I thought I would do a little tutorial about how you might use Microsoft OneNote to manage the research for your next book project. So today I'm going to pretend that I'm writing a book about zebras. So I have gone and opened my OneNote and said that I want to add a new notebook. And this notebook is going to kind of be like your big file box where you're going, it's gonna be your container where you're going to store all your research. So I'm going to um, call my new notebook Zebras. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and create it. And this is what a normal OneNote layout looks like. So the cool thing about OneNote is that you can organize your research by section. So let's say the first um, section, I just want like general background about zebras. Um, oh, actually, let's put it over here. Okay, and then I can gather some research from various sources. So I'm gonna jump over to um, my web browser and I have looked up the word zebras. So it looks like I have some good sources here. Let's say first I wanna look at um, what National Geographic has to say. So I can put National Geographic as a source. Um, I could add a new page and I can look at what the San Diego Zoo has to say. Now, the cool thing about um, OneNote is some web browsers actually have um, an extension that you can add where you can clip research directly from a website into OneNote. Um, I use Safari as my web browser, so I don't have that option. So a lot of times what, I wanna, what I'll do if I wanna capture the information in OneNote is I will just go and copy the whole web page and then I will just come in here and paste it along with the link so I can go back to the information. Um, the cool thing is once you've done something like that, you can highlight information in your note that you want to come back to. Um, you know, like, oh, I want to, I want to highlight that they're prey for predators, but they're not shrinking violet, violets. Okay, that's, that's good information to highlight. So I'm going to use my highlighter tool to highlight that. Um, oh, okay, maybe I want to highlight some information about the different stripes. Okay, so I can come back and highlight that too. Um, so it's a really cool uh, functionality. So that's general background. Maybe I wanna know about um, what zebras eat. So maybe I'll have a whole separate section of notes about what zebras eat and I'll, I'll put that there. So maybe I go over here and I say, what do zebras eat? Oh, okay. Well, that's already from that note, but maybe, maybe I just want to copy that portion from the San Diego Zoo. So I'll say San Diego Zoo. Now, one thing that I like to, um, one thing that I like to add is I also like to keep a section for sources to find. So sometimes I don't want, I um, just kind of want to put a bookmark instead of going down this rabbit hole and forgetting what I was doing. Um, I want to kind of bookmark sources that I need to go back and find later. Um, so for example, if I were looking at this Wikipedia page um, about zebras, I might scroll to the bottom and I, I'll find a lot of source notes about zebras. Okay, well, I don't wanna go right this very minute and start reading all these academic articles. So maybe what I'll do is I'll copy the reference and I'll 
put that in my sections, my sources to find. So maybe this will be academic articles that I want to find. So I'll go ahead and put, paste those in here. And I can even generate these little um, like to-do lists. So I can put a little box there. And when I've gone out and actually found the article and added it to my research, I can you know, check the box and cross it off my list. And that way I know that I, whether I've tracked that down. Maybe I have another section about um, books to find. Maybe I find, you know, I want to see if my library has certain books, you know, so maybe I'm here and I've, let's add another article that I want to find later. And I'll add my little checkbox so I know to do it. Um, and then maybe I want to, you know, book titles that I want to go look up later at my library, but I don't want to do it right now because I'm deep reading an article about um, zebras. Okay, so maybe I want to look up um, zebras, amazing animals to see if my library has it. Uh, maybe I want to see if they have... A zebra's day. Okay, so this will remind me to come back later and look up these sources when I'm not in the midst of something um, researching a particular point. Um, so this is this is OneNote on the desktop. Um, the cool thing is you can also use your phone. You can add the OneNote at app to your phone and you can use that to take pictures and add information in other ways and I'm going to show you um, how to do that next time. But right now I just wanted to show you how you could um, organize your research in OneNote. But maybe I want to you know add some more source sections to my research. I'm going to look up major predators and then go find different sources. Um, Let's see, um, habitat. So maybe let's see, I'll look up zebra habitats. Okay, and I want to put in this source from the African Wildlife Foundation and what they have to say about it. And again, I can go back if I just want to capture this whole thing and put it um, right into OneNote, I can. And then I can mark it up and then it's also searchable. The cool thing is um, once you add your information to OneNote, it's also, also searchable. So I can come in here and I can look up the term um, like stripes. And I'll see, oh, here's my, you know, here's my note about the San Diego Zoo that has the information I'm looking for about stripes. So one thing I want to show you in the search function is this little funnel. Um, and if you click on the funnel, it will give you some search um, options. So for example, if I want to search on the word stripes, I really don't want to search in all my notebooks with all my different projects. I really only want to look um, in my current notebook which is about zebras. So I want to see which of my notes that I have in this notebook say something about the stripes. And I can see, oh, okay, I've got um, this African Wildlife Foundation reference talks about stripes, um, and it will highlight each time that word appears. Uh, oh, this academic article I need to track down talks about a rapid loss of stripes. Okay, and the San Diego Zoo source talks about stripes. So once I'm trying to piece together um, specific information, I can search, but I can also use the funnel to target um, my search. So um, anyway, Zebra, uh, this is a really cool tool. And generally what I do is anytime I'm starting a new research project, I um, 
go ahead and make myself a new notebook in OneNote and then I start adding information including making sure to have a section for sources that I need to track down um, and come back to later. And this is, normally, this is normally my starting spot. Even when I check out hard copy books from the library or if I order hard copy books, um, I end up adding, those, adding pages from those books to OneNote because I can search everything. So if I'm, if I'm looking up predators or something like that, having everything in one place makes it really easy.